episode Final Madness. Welcome everybody to Hormones Final Madness 36 and today I'm just going over one album, well it's actually two albums but it's one because uh, that's all I want to do um, and it is Chick Trick live at the Buddha Khan and it's a twofer and it's also Dream Police so we've got Chick Trick live at the Buddha Khan and Two for one. Dream Police. I picked this up oh, a week or so ago. Double album. And here's the. So you've got the rear of each album on the gatefold, which is quite nice. Um, I didn't have either of these um, albums, and I don't have any cheap trick actually. So I've been looking around, and this first first one I've seen. So I got two, I, I, I remember both these albums. This was, uh, The Buddha Khan was a, a big hit here in Australia. Uh, it came out in uh, 1979. Uh, did really well in the US. It sold three million copies around that amount. Did really well. And Dream Police came out in 79. It was also a big hit here. Um, I remember these, both these albums and uh, when I was in high school and uh, they did pretty well. Didn't have the money in those days for anything other than what I actually knew or wanted so that's what I stuck with. But yeah, they're both on the same label, in excellent condition, I got them for a really good price, an epic. And, uh, this is the Buddha Calm one. I always loved that song Surrender. I thought that was a terrific song. Um, and of course the big hit, I Want You To Want Me. And uh, get that out of there. Come on. Why does that happen when you don't want it to? That's all I can say. So yeah. Um, Pleased to get that because I've actually been looking for the live at Buddha Khan album for quite some time and haven't seen it anywhere. Yeah, it was a huge seller. It was very big here in Australia. Uh, both of them were actually, and I don't think I've seen the other one actually uh, around. So to get them both together, I'll get that out. Now if I pull that out of there, I've got these from Rhubarb Records. Epic as well. In great condition. Played them both today. Uh, yeah, very pleased to have them. Now, with the Buddha Khan one, it was recorded in April 28th and 30th, uh, 1978. Intended for release only in Japan, but with strong airplay of the promotional album from Tokyo to You, an estimated 30,000 copies were bought in the US. Uh, import copies, I guess. And uh, the album was then released in the US the following year, February 79, peaked at number four on the Billboard 200, becoming their, burst, their best selling album, selling over three million copies, reaching triple platinum status by 1986. That's not bad going. Uh, a few bands would like those sort of sales now, I can tell you. And uh, yeah, Dream Police was their fourth studio album, Released in 1979, the band's most commercially successful studio album, reaching number six on the Billboard 200 chart. The two for one, this two for one, someone's written on it there, but I don't mind that, you know. It's still pretty, in pretty decent condition. The vinyl's in excellent condition, no scratches. Uh, one or two scuffs on the Buddha Khan album, but they don't come through. So, uh, that's nice. Um, this two for one, was apparently released in 1982. Not sure how well it sold, but uh, I'm pleased to have got the copy. A copy, I got it for about $20 Australian. So for a double album in good condition and quite a 
big selling, both of them quite big selling albums. That's not a bad deal, is it? Twenty dollars Australian. Um, I did have a look on Discogs. I think I saw uh, a two for one, the same as this. I don't know. Uh, you know, there's some ring wear on on there. Not, and there's a bit on here you just can't see it as much because of the colour of the arm. But I don't know what condition theirs is in, but uh, it was five dollars more. So I did all right, five dollars less. And I didn't have to pay any postage, and I got it there and then, so that's always good. So yeah, Cheap Trick at Budokan, li recorded live in Japan, and Dream Police, two for one from Cheap Trick. Really like Dream Police, actually, I've never heard the album before, I know, I know, but you know, you can't hear everything, can you? And uh, really liked it. Um, really liked it, not overly uh, produced and all that, just uh, really good uh, good recording, gutsy, clean, yeah I liked it. Anyway, that's my little cheap trick video, this is Hormone House saying thanks very much for watching, all the links to the Umpire Roundabout songs are down in the description if you want to check them out at uh, iTunes or CD Baby or any other sites for that matter, but they're the two links I've provided also on Google Play and, and Amazon MP3 and, and what else, whatever else is out there. Thanks for watching. Hello to all the subscribers out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and a comment. Much appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you later.